What's going on everybody in YouTube land? This is Bob the Barber in Austin, Texas, Beard Brand Headquarters, and I got my friend, I call him Jay, but his name is Josh, and we're gonna have some fun. What is uh what is like the daily regimen when you do kind of style oh, uh, as far as like you it's mostly some pomade and yeah, pomade. mostly when I do get quote unquote made up, it's usually for church on Sundays. Kind okay, of so yeah, and that's, that's what I'm getting at. Like, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if this is like a daily thing that you're comfortable with, like you know. Yeah, well, if, when it comes to the messy look, just because it's so easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. then Those then are, yes, that's helpful because then I know yeah. uh, you know how much length to maybe not take off or take off, gotcha. and then seeing what your daily is, so I can. Kind of gauge. Yeah, um, well, I'm like in, might be. in manufacturing, like so. I wear a baseball hat most of the day. I'm gonna, but yeah. So I'm, as soon as you should put on a hat right now, and yeah. then I'll just <laughs> I just, I'll go just from there. my underneath. <laughs> and they call it, I call it mm, good. Nailed it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my half, and uh, I heard you talking about like maybe skin, maybe a one. Yeah. Um, to kind of cut the difference, I'm gonna go with a half and uh, and keep it nice and low. We'll get a nice blend going up into the uh, that big old puff up top. There you go. <laughs> so church, manufacturing. Yeah. I heard that there might be other talents hidden in there. I wouldn't call them talent. It's just, it's just a job, man. Yeah. So they're, they're all good guys, though. But yeah, this is my first... Um, real job? Real job, yeah. I used to be a musician back in the day. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. What yeah. uh let me guess, by your looks, I'm thinking you played the pescado. Bass guitar. Bass guitar. Bass guitar. Yep. You, you, you nailed it. Fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's, not even, he's not even talking to you over here. He's just like, nope. I got this now. Yep. Yeah, bass guitar, man. Did that for, gosh, when I was in high school. So me and the band that I was with, uh, we got signed when I was a junior in high school. Oh, damn it. Yeah, and then hit the road after that for about 15, 16 years. What was the name of your band? Uh, Salvador. Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we're kind of a Latin pop Christian band. Like Word. It. Alternative to That's Latin a long movies. time to do anything. Yes. Yeah, we had a good run. That's fucking we awesome. had a good run, yeah. Then had a couple kids and uh, wanted to get off the road. Raised them, didn't want to be that dad. So I get it, man. Yep. Got a little love for them kiddos. That's it, man. Good kids. Yeah, that's why finding a nice, like, versatile, you know, short style that grows out well, it's yes. so important. I, I get it. Yes. I, uh, for me, my problem is that I work the same hours that all my buddies do, mm -hmm. and I want to get haircuts by them, and I can't because mm -hmm. they're all done by the time I'm done. So, yeah, yeah having a, either a huge, a huge puff like I got going on right now, mm -hmm. or uh, nice and short. That's the way to go. So I get it. Gotcha. So uh, when you were with the band, uh, mm -hmm. how much how much traveling did you guys Dude, do? Dude, we played you said a you were on the road. lot. Yeah, we were. Gosh, those first. It was all a blur at the beginning, but I know we were averaging about three hundred plus days a year. You know, there's only three sixty five in the year. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We would literally go home Ooh. for a night or two to. Man, wash our clothes and then head right back out. Everybody wants to be a rock star Man, until they're a rock star. It's lot. It, it was pretty rough. Again, but I was six. I was seventeen, eighteen years old. So I was, I was up for it. But man, I can't imagine doing that now. Yeah, I look at some of those older artists that are still out there kicking yeah. ass, and I'm like, Ooh. Man. Yeah, me and my son, we connect on different things, but uh, my daughter is kind of the one that really I tend to gravitate towards as far as common interest. So my daughter's seven and a half, she's deaf, uh, or hard of hearing. Uh, so she wears hearing aids and watches all the guy movies with me and uh, watches all the sporting events and very much a daddy's girl. That's awesome. Yeah, she's great. Cool, so I uh, we took down the sides right away. I wanted to get a gauge for how much I would like to maybe take off on the uh, on the top here. I am not hating the amount of mm -hmm. weight that you have, okay. so I'd, I don't want to keep it all, but uh, we're probably going to keep a lot. Sounds good. Did you always play the bass, or was that the... Uh... I started off on drums, mm. uh, short-lived. Yeah. Uh, then my parents really pushed... 
piano, and that didn't take. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then my cousin stuck a bass in my hands and really took off with it. Yeah. Yeah. What was the uh, the cousin doing that that he? Uh, uh actually, he, he um, we started the band together. Oh, okay. When we were kids. And what was he playing? Uh, guitar and singing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so like, he, he's still in the music business out like, there in Nashville. Yeah. He's like, hey, cuz, like, do this less less cool music you know, <laughs> yeah. music instruments yeah. while I get the yeah. spotlights. Yeah, fade to the back, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got that strong hair. Get this out of the way real quick. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab. Right, so you pull that out. Yes, it's uh, it's one of those uh, those tools that's really handy to have. I I avoid it as much as possible because there's more stuff. Yeah. But in a, in a pinch, man. <laughs> yeah, cause now I have a nice clean section and uh, keep all that good that good juicy stuff out of the way, and we'll just focus on these little flips right here and where this hair trans transitions into that top. And I know uh, a lot of barbers would just go straight in with a guard, you know, the, the biggest guard that they have, and then write it up the top. I've, I've gotten in trouble a couple of times on people who've done different clients' head, on heads, and it, the hair didn't transition as well as I wanted to, it didn't have the shape. This has a little bit more finesse, so I, I usually leave that big weight line early in the cut and, and, and work it down. Yeah, I don't know if uh, people notice that in the other videos, but that's typically what I'm doing, just to out of, out of fear, really, because of past experiences. So I like to blast those, those lower guards and flip them out really uh, extremely at the top and then come back and fine tune with the clip over combs, just to, like I said, a little bit more finesse. And then those hours, man, you got a hard working buddy here, man. Yeah. We're that's it, that's it, bro. Wow, that's, that's, it's, I say that often. Yeah. A, I'm not good at a lot of things, but working hard, <laughs> most definitely not good at. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about working in the oil fields and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I never, never worked hard in a day in my life. <laughs> so I'm just using my 46 two blenders and my bashers right now to uh, soften up that edge. I could use tequila to soften the edge too, mm. but definitely. Yeah. Yes, please. Speaking of which, day's almost over. <laughs> oh man. So we got the base of the haircut down. Super classic looking. Mm -hmm. I uh, at this point would like to kind of polish it and give it some of that that lightness. Give you some options when it comes to styling. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it was like 75 bucks. And yeah. Expensive. So we went ahead and followed up with some styling balm. Get some of this tucked away. Just to try and maintain that volume as mm -hmm. I'm applying it. Alright, so it's, it looks pretty. Yeah, you say pompadour, man. I'm trying to reach here for the heavens, man. <laughs> Catching that hair out. Conan O'Brien look. <laughs> Coco. <laughs> no, I'm Team Jimmy Fallon, man. <laughs> people know this about me because I'm the Mexican Jimmy Fallon. Hashtag okay. trademark. <laughs> you know, it is. Uh, it can get a little tough because some of the areas where the gray comes out more might leave striations that make it look like the fade is not very clean. So you either have to work in a little bit of extra blending to maybe like dig some of the dark spots out to, to match it up a bit or you just kind of commit to it and say like okay, this is what it is I know that it's even it's more like double checking and double checking to make sure that as you look in the mirror you're you know the gray's not playing tricks on your eyes yeah. you know, just so with his amount of uh, with his density with his amount of beard hair that kind of comes out uh, 
you want to be careful because a half might look like complete skin. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go once again a little conservative, and okay. then we'll, we'll we'll pare it down as we uh, as we need to. Sounds but uh, yeah, I like the five o'clock shadow. Are we talking about mustache and everything? Let's do it. I mean, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it has a pretty gnarly stash. Yeah, Ooh. I've never seen my dad without his mustache. Never. I uh. Yeah, I, I did not like it when my dad mowed his down. <laughs> he was a high school high school baseball coach for mm -hmm. 35 years and football coach, you know, do all that Texas stuff and uh, yeah, classic 80s coach mustache. <laughs> Tom Selleck. Oh, absolutely, all day. So did you play baseball? I sure did. All right. Yeah, yeah. Played baseball pretty much my entire life growing up. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, you know, did the football thing, did the basketball thing, classic Texas sports. Mm -hmm. and then I uh, found rugby later in life. And now I'm, uh, yeah, man. Man, that sport is brutal. It is. I was just uh, reading an article that is like, hey, if you're going to play sports, uh, play golf as opposed to rugby because mm -hmm. you're less, less contact. <laughs> <laughs> you play rugby, yeah, well, American football. Uh, how was it again? I don't understand English. Yeah, yeah. Austin's got uh, some dope teams. Yeah, the Austin Blacks and the uh, the AGs. Are you a fly half? I would be more of a winger because okay. I'm pretty and small. Yeah, so let's see how it's, it is pretty long and thick, so we're, we'll take it down to the next level, which is a, uh, a half, nice and open. I'm going to try to be careful right here. This half, it can it's sharp enough to grab pores. I've done it to myself many times. I want this half, I want this half. I'm kind of regretting taking off the mustache, man. Let's go finish the snack off real quick. What do you think, Sylvester? Soften it up, make it more natural. Talk everybody into getting a skull, but nobody was down. So uh, yeah. nobody was down. I'll do a, I'll do like a four on top. <laughs> so that's, there's a little bit of bulk right here, a little bit of a flip. Yeah, maybe just slide around in like a, like the direction of going like this. Yeah, I think that's good. Man, that that old money blow dried in my direction smells so good. <laughs> Yeah, that's my son's favorite. He burns through that stuff. Old money. So it is actual CSL. Yeah. One that was saying as well, this, this works as a throw eye shampoo. Okay. Uh, that's something I didn't actually know until today, but nice. when you drop it in, it's kind of like super versatile, so if you use it, kind of absorbing some of those oils. It has uh, camelite clay in it, so the clay kind of helps that. All the girls here use sea salt free as a shampoo. Yeah. It's <laughs>
What do you think, uh, Mr. Sylvester? Yeah. You approve of your buddy's haircut? Dig it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Awesome. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's finish it out with the uh, little foam and razor around the neck. Yeah, but it's across the living room. Enjoy that video? Well, go ahead, treat yourself to beard oil. We got a new formulation, new packaging, and a new price. Head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself, my friends.